Well, the Old Dominion football team arrived on campus late last night, around midnight, after making the two-hour chartered flight from the Bahamas following the Monarchs' first-ever bowl win. ODU held on to defeat Eastern Michigan 24-20 in the Bahamas Bowl. A milestone win for the Monarchs. Picked the finish sixth in the Conference USA's East Division. ODU winds up with a 10-3 and record. This team always remember, you know, first team never go to bowl game, and then first team uh, to get 10 wins in Conference USA. So that's a that's a big uh, milestone for uh, this program. It was much better than what I expected. I didn't. I had no clue what to expect, and that feeling I felt after that game was over, um, after that last knee, it was something I've never felt before, and it was it was great. I hope this momentum will continue. I hope that uh, I can keep this staff and this team together. You know, when you have success, there comes opportunities for other people, and yeah, I've been challenged in previous years to try to be able to keep. Assistant coaches, this is the best staff I've ever had. These assistant coaches are really good, and guys are going to get interviews. It's going to be hard to hold on to them. Um, everybody wants to play, so it's hard to hold on to all the players. But if, if we can hold this thing together, um, we, could, we could do some special things. And for another look back at yesterday's game, we send it back to the Bahamas, where Nathan Epstein has spent the last week covering the Monarchs in the Bahamas Bowl. Could you really ask for anything more? What a week it's been here at Nassau, the Bahamas, and what a ride in 2016. A historic campaign capped off in paradise with the program's first ever bowl victory. Talk about a fitting finish against Eastern Michigan in the program's first ever bowl game. Two seniors start the scoring. David Washington, 47-yard touchdown to his best friend, Zach Paschal. And with the game tied at 17 in the fourth, Washington with the go-ahead touchdown toss to Jonathan Duhart. And then with just over a minute left. That epitomizes this season. We ended the game with, with the ball in Ray Lowry's hands. Ray Lowry, first down, first ever bowl victory. A celebration eight years in the making. Really grateful to be able to uh, coach this team. This group's been a lot of fun from where we started being picked at the bottom, being one and two, and I think we just became the 19th team in America to win 10 games. That's pretty special. We knew from last season uh, with the FAU game uh, how we lost. We wanted to just come back and uh, take this year from last year, and I'm excited. I'm excited for this team, this whole program. Man, I'm just happy uh, for the program, for the team, for the city, for everybody, for the, for the, for the school. I'm just excited. Come on, Daddy, we made it. We out too, baby. With 133 yards rushing, Lowry was named the game's offensive MVP. The defensive MVP went to the former FCS walk-on, linebacker TJ Ricks out of Kickatan High School in Hampton. Man, I'm just, I'm just glad we made it. Uh, I'm glad to have the guys on the field with me. I, I'm glad to have the coaches I have. Um, it just feels amazing. Let me get one. As for Washington, he rides off with three touchdown passes in his final game. Man, it was great to end it like this, um, making history, winning a bowl game. It, it was great. In the Bahamas, everything's better in the Bahamas. Brian, all I got to say is ain't that the truth. I'll be headed home tonight, so I guess I'll have to put this back in the closet. From Nassau, the Bahamas, one final time until we kick it off in 2017. Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap. Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, hurry up and come back to work.